So I've been getting a lot of comments either during my live streams or on some of my videos about how for a small streamer, my quality looks so good. And when I ask specifically what about the quality looks good to you, and they either mention my camera or the audio. And since audio is probably one of the most, if not the most important part of a stream slash video that you make for YouTube, that's the topic we're gonna to touch on today. Also, ignore the uh, bare wall behind me, termites. Now, to be honest, I feel like audio is probably the most overlooked part of any stream or video posted to YouTube or any sort of video related content for that matter. And what people don't realize is that audio can make or break your video. And if you're someone who thinks, oh no, video is 100% more important than audio, you need a crisp looking stream or video or no one's gonna wanna watch. And if you're of that kind of mindset, then just think of it this way. Say you're watching a movie or any sort of TV show and the video quality is just a little bit off, a little bit pixelated, but the audio super crisp, super clear. You've probably been in a situation like that once or twice in your life and then you, you can get through the movie pretty easily. Now, say flip it around. Video is super crisp, not a blurry pixel in sight and the audio is just crackling, it's, the audio sounds terrible the entire time and it's just unbearable to listen to. Or even if the audio is just slightly off to your ears, it's the most annoying thing and you can't even get through the movie. I know personally I've been in that situation where maybe I've watched a video on YouTube and their audio was just so bad. The video looked great, but the audio was just so bad I could not watch it anymore. I clicked right off, didn't care for it. And since I feel audio is just so, so important, I'm going to be sharing with you guys today some of the better mics you can buy for your stream. And within this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the mic that I currently use some of the best budget mics, and some of the just better mics overall that you can be buying on the market right now. But to start, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I'm currently using and what I feel is probably the best overall mic that you can buy budget-wise and quality-wise. So like I said, we're gonna be starting off with a mic that I currently have and am currently using right now that you can see right in front of my face here. And the audio that you're hearing, of course, is coming out of this microphone. Now, although I am a big tech head and a gear head or whatever you wanna call it, I don't typically advise spending a bunch of money and all this gear, especially when you're first starting out with streaming or creating content with YouTube. I feel it's only important to upgrade and buy new things when it makes sense for where you're currently at in your journey. So if you're just starting off, you're at the very beginning of your journey, not much of a following, obviously not much if any income coming in at all from this. So going all out and buying all this top notch equipment, probably not the best of ideas. However, when I first started, I did invest in my audio because I do feel it is so important. And as someone who's streaming out to viewers, I want to retain those viewers that come to my channel. I can't retain them if they're not enjoying what they're seeing and hearing. So because of that, I felt like if there was one area I was going to spend a little bit more money on, it would be on my microphone for my stream. Now keep in mind, I didn't buy one of the top tier microphones for a stream, but I also didn't go to the bottom tier like I just said. What I got is the Audio-Technica 8T2020 USB Plus. So this is the USB version of the Audio-Technica. So this is a USB microphone, which I feel if you're someone who's just starting out with streaming or you know nothing about audio at all, USB is the way to go. There are some people out there who look down on USB microphones because they're not XLR microphones and XLR are your pro tier microphones. And because of that, if you have a USB microphone, they're looked at as not great quality. I can tell you 100% as you're even hearing right now, or you may even hear in my streams, that's not true. Well, let me rephrase. XLRs are great, great quality, professional sounding microphones. However, USBs can also sound great. And just so you know that I'm not playing any audio tricks on you guys, I'm not editing this at all. I'm not touching up the audio. This is straight out of the box what this microphone sounds like. So you can be rest assured if you end up buying this microphone, as soon as you plug it into your stream, you're gonna get the same quality that you're hearing right now. Now a little bit about this microphone that I'm using right now. If you look on Amazon, I pulled it up here. The price of it is $150. Like I said, it's not a complete budget microphone but it's also not your top of the line microphone. And when it comes to audio and really tech in general, you get what you pay for. So because of the brand being Audio-Technica, which is a great brand and a trusted brand, 
because of the price point, the ease of use, because it is a plug and play, just plug it into any USB spot, open on your PC and it's ready to go. And the audio quality, I feel like this is the, what I'm going to call best overall microphone you can buy in the market right now. And of course, any microphone that I mentioned will be listed below and disclaimer, I do have an Amazon affiliate link to each one of these microphones I list. So if anyone were to use the links below, I do get a small kickback on those and all that money goes to helping the channel. So if you do choose to use it, then I greatly appreciate it. So we just looked at what I'm calling the best overall for price, quality, ease of use, all that. Now let's look at top of the line. What is the best microphone you can buy on the market quality wise for your stream? This is one that you've probably seen in a lot of streams and a lot of YouTube videos, and that is the Shure SM7B XLR microphone. So yes, this is an XLR microphone, which means that it is a pro grade microphone, but that also means there are extra costs to you because of that. So I have it pulled up here and you can even see there's a 20% off deal going on currently on Amazon, putting it down from 500 to $400. So that right there is already way over double the price of the microphone that I'm currently using. So let's say you go ahead and buy this microphone because you have the money, you want to spend it, and it's a pro grade microphone. You go to plug it into your computer, uh-oh, you can't because your PC doesn't have an XLR port. So what does that mean? How do I use this thing? Well, in order to get this working on your PC and to be compatible with it so your PC will read it as a microphone, you're going to need to buy an audio interface. And we have that pulled up right here. And this is on the cheaper end of audio interfaces. And like I've said with audio before, you don't want to skimp out on audio equipment. So if you're buying a really nice XLR microphone, you're gonna want a nice audio interface to be able to output your audio to your stream. And even with this audio interface to get it working in your PC, there still is a learning curve, especially if you know nothing about audio to get it working and running properly for your stream. So not only are you spending a lot more money, you're putting a lot more time into learning something brand new. And you might be thinking, well, isn't there a Go XLR or even the Go XLR Mini that's supposed to make it all easy for you? And yes, there is. I also have that pulled up here, and this is one of the cheaper ones I can find on the internet currently, and that is $250. So you're almost looking at an extra $100 just for ease of use for your XLR microphone. So if you're someone who has the money, you don't care what it costs, you just want the best sounding microphone on the market, then yes, go ahead and buy the Shure SM7B, buy an audio interface to make it compatible with your PC, do all the tinkering you need to do to make it sound good, because it's not exactly just a plug and play. And then after all that, should be good to go. Now I do wanna make it clear, it does sound like I'm against these kinds of microphones. I'm not. I myself would love to buy a microphone like this someday. But like I said before, when it makes sense for me in the current point I'm at in this journey. But let's say you just really don't have the budget. You can't even really stretch it up to $100, which is completely understandable and fine, especially considering times we're in today. And for that, I present to you the Blue Snowball. And yes, I know it's not blue, it's black. Blue is the brand. This is a microphone that you've probably heard before and it's probably come up for any search result you've ever done for an affordable microphone. So the pros of this one is it's affordable, it's USB, so it's plug and play, and the audio quality is good. Now, I don't have one of these myself because like I said, I skipped right ahead to the best overall microphone, which is one I'm currently using. But this microphone is still great. I still even see successful streamers using this microphone because they really don't need to upgrade. All these upgrades I'm talking about are preference. Yes, the jump from a Snowball microphone to a Shure SMB is night and day. You're gonna tell the difference right off the bat. The jump from a Snowball to the microphone I'm currently using isn't as drastic. Yes, my microphone is a little closer to that professional grade and it still sounds better. However, this microphone right here, straight out of the box, still sounds Amazing, especially for someone who's just starting, which is why it's so widely known and popular. So, like I said, if you're someone who's balling on a budget, you just want something that is super easy to use, just take it out of the box, plug it in, and you're ready to go, and sounds good, then the Blue Snowball USB microphone is a microphone for you. So after today's video, I really hope that you guys realize just how important audio is for your streams and your videos. And I've made the search for the perfect microphone for you and where you're currently at super easy. So I'll let you guys decide where you're at in your journey. Go to the description below, figure out which one of these microphones fits you best and go ahead and invest in yourself. You deserve it. You've worked hard or you're about to work hard.
And if you would like to hear what my microphone sounds like while I'm live, be sure to tune into one of my live streams either Monday, Wednesday, or Thursday. I stream from 6.30 p.m. Eastern and on, and I also stream Saturday mornings as well. So come on by, take a listen, take a look. If you like what you see, subscribe, like, tell me I sound like an angel. I don't know. It's up to you. But that's all I have for this one. I hope to see you in the next.